So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look. It's a pretty simple logic gate, but at this integrated circuit that has four AND gates. So it's a quad AND gate. We have to power it. The power supply is already on, but if I bump it just right, it kind of cuts out. So this uh, is pretty much due for a replacement, but I'm going to hold on to it for a while and uh, keep using it. So zooming in, we... Uh, Looked at other integrated circuits like this one, but uh, this one has four AND gates. So you can see we power it, ground pin down there, the uh, positive pin right there. And so here's one of the AND gates. That's an input, input, output, input, input, output. So that's the one we're going to use. There's also two AND gates on this side, input, input, output, input, input, output, right there. And uh, so we have this jumper going to ground and in fact you know what it'll probably be easier to follow along with the other one so let's move the jumper over here go down a bit because the resistor is going to extend things and we'll put it right there so we're going to take an LED here we want the LED to light up when the output is high so it will have 5 volts when it is high and uh, the uh, long lead the anode up one row from this jumper short lead the cathode connected to this jumper that way it will light up when the output is high there and uh, let's kind of tilt it there and let's get a resistor I think it'll be easiest to see here so we're connecting it straight across from the output there to where the anode is so now the LED is on that's because our inputs are floating so it's actually uh, most certainly turning on and off really fast and you'll see that uh, my body can also kind of manipulate it it shouldn't uh, be happening like that but our inputs are floating so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put one of the inputs to the negative rail so let's go to this one and uh, you'll be able to see that we put it to the negative rail and the LED definitely turns off now let's try not to let those touch but uh, there you can see it is definitely off because we do not have a high input in any way to both pins so we're gonna grab the other resistor there so before the pin was floating the uh, inputs were floating and we were getting an undesirable effect the output really wasn't high or low on or off it was uh, something in between due to stray uh, fields, main, uh, electromagnetic fields hitting the uh, inputs. So, unfortunately, the lead bent. and uh, But uh, we'll plug that into the other input right there. There we go. So, we have a low signal to both of the inputs right now. We have a low output. So, first, let's move one of the resistors to the positive rail. You can see down there we have to the positive rail and the output is still low. That's what we expect. Now when we pull this you can see the output looks high and uh, ideally we should be going directly from I bumped the uh, power supply. That's why it uh, changed. But you can see just my body too can change it. So it's stray signals. So really for a practical circuit you want a distinct on off but you'll notice when I plug into the positive rail the LED got brighter and now it's holding really well I bumped the power supply now it's holding really steady and uh, it's not uh, flickering or anything we have a solid positive signal to both of the inputs so that is the AND gate you need a positive signal at one of the pins and you need a positive signal to the other input there's only two inputs for this particular integrated circuit. Some of them have uh, more than two inputs, but uh, the ones, all the ones I have, I think, have uh, two inputs and then one output of uh, my integrated circuits, other than the NOT gate, which is one input, one output. But in any case, there you can see it's a pretty simple NOT gate. The integrated circuit makes it really easy to use it. Of course, you don't shuffle uh, resistors back and forth. You find other ways to control it but ideally you want almost 
or you could go directly to the negative rail so directly to negative rail or close to that so I think uh, one volt actually probably 1.8 volts or less you'll get a low signal to the input and then from testing a different integrated circuit and logic gate I found that a positive signal is the positive rail down using a 5 volt power supply down to 3 volts so those numbers are for a 5 volt power supply but in any case hopefully that integrated circuit made sense for the AND gate you need a high signal at one input and the other input actually all the inputs but two for this integrated circuit are all the inputs so all the inputs have to be high for the output to be high if any of them are low the output is low so hope that made sense thanks for watching I will see you in the next video